if you want to follow along with today's lesson, you can click the link in the video description and that will take you to the Excel Cape website where you can download this workbook and follow along. This video is going to demonstrate how you can perform a SUMIF function when your criteria is a cell date value and you're trying to determine how many items in your criteria array are greater than or less than the value in your cell. So in this example, we have some invoices, we have order dates, and order amounts. And we'd like to, in this first example, determine the sum of orders that are greater than our cell date value here of July 31st, 2019. So we're going to begin with the SUMIF function. Our criteria range is going to be our order date column. Our criteria is anything greater than this cell date value here. So we need to insert a greater than operator enclosed in double quotes and then use an AND symbol to concatenate it or join it to our cell date value here. And finally, our sum range is going to be our order amount column. So that gives us total orders that are greater than July 31st of $1,925. So now we're going to do the same thing, except this time our criteria is anything less than this cell date value of October 31st, 2019. So again, we're going to use the sum if function. Our criteria range is going to be our order date column. We're going to insert a less than operator and use the AND symbol to join it to our criteria in the cell. Our sum range is going to be our order amount column. And that gives us orders that are less than October 31st of $4,300. So in this final example, we have a range of dates and we want to get the total orders that fall between this date range here. So this time we have two criteria. So rather than the sum if function, we need to use the sum ifs plural because it can handle multiple criteria. So we'll begin with the sum ifs. Now the inputs are ordered a little differently from the singular sum if. You can see we begin with our sum range. So that's going to be our order amount column. Our criteria range one is going to be our order date column. Our first criteria is going to be anything greater than or equal to our begin date of our date range. And we'll use the AND symbol to concatenate it to our begin date value. Now for our criteria range 2, it's going to be the same as our criteria range 1. So I'm just going to copy this first criteria range and paste it into our criteria range 2. And our criteria two is anything that is less than or equal to the end date of our date range. So we have total inventory orders that fall between our date range of $3,275. So that is how you can perform a sum if or a sum ifs function when your criteria is a cell date value. Hey, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe to the Excel Cape. Thanks for watching.